Taylor's gonna tell us what her final aha moment is for her clinical rotation here at 180 Physical Therapy. So um, one of the bigger things I've learned here at 180 is to do the functional screen beforehand and to facilitate all the muscles uh, before we start any of those corrective exercises that we love to hand out. Um, that way we get our patients actually seeing a change with their motion and seeing a change with everything they're feeling in their body and we're actually using the muscles we want to use versus just encouraging and handing out exercises um, and continuing to let our patients use the compensations that they have been doing prior to coming into PT. So if you caught what she said there, not only did she say that they have better strength, but she also said they have better range of motion. So talk a, a second about how most ability, so motion, strength, and stability all increase once we reassess and reverse uh, neuromuscular inhibition. Sure, so before when we do the screening, we kind of see those deficits and um, areas where they're lacking. If it's just reaching for the toes, they can't get down that far. Um, power, just with certain things like a squat, if they just feel weak. We get them on the table, we go through the body, um, we poke around and we find out those muscles that are not working um, to its maximum strength that it can. We facilitate that muscle then, get it working, so when they come off the table, do that same screening, we can see the differences in the range of motion, we can see the differences in their squat, they can go down deeper, they feel more powerful. And then once we see that all those muscles are now facilitated and working, we can then go into the exercises to reinforce that facilitation and get them continuing to work through the range of motion and strengthening that muscle. So, long story short, take home message for you if you're a PT student or a PT out in the clinic, if you are prescribing corrective exercises without first reversing inhibition, that's why your patients are taking a long time to get better, or that's why your patients are coming back with re-injury of the same thing, or that's why your patients aren't getting better at all. So just telling somebody to do more exercise doesn't reverse the physiological problem that they are experiencing, which is the root cause of their symptoms. So weakness is a symptom, lack of range of motion is a symptom, lack of stability is a symptom, all of neuromuscular inhibition. So as Taylor just explained, if you reverse the inhibition, then you can do reinforcement exercises, then they get better faster, stay better longer.